Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. We are in Toronto, back at the condo. So it is boxing day today and we just had a chill morning with my family, got ready and stuff and then uh, headed out. We are now going to go brave the Eden Center because of course of all of the malls we decide to go to today, we go to the one in the heart of downtown Toronto. I mean, the only other mall that would be like as chaotic to go to would be Yorkdale. I know like Square One and Sherway are going to be busy, but I always find to a certain degree, they are always less chaotic than the Eden Center and Yorkdale. Maybe it's just because they're smaller slash like you have to like drive to get there, but I don't know if you're local, like let me know if you agree with this. Like. I definitely feel like the Eden Center, no matter when I go, is always way more chaotic than like Monday morning at the Eden Center, way more chaotic than Monday morning at Sherway. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna go to the Eden Center. My boyfriend wants to get a pair of Blundstones. I wanna go to Shoppers and that's like the Shoppers Drug Mart that I know for sure is going to be open. And the weather's kind of crap, so I don't wanna walk to the one um, on Spadina. It's like an it, it's it's just an outside walk versus we're gonna probably just take the path up and then um we'll probably just do this and i'm oh yeah then this is the plan i was gonna say maybe i'll get my like phone case because my phone case is just destroyed but then i was like the apple store on boxing day is going to be chaotic so yeah anyways we're gonna head out and it's gonna be a good afternoon of shopping and chilling. Hey guys, so I have just been working all day so there's not been too, too much to report, but I'm taking a break and I'm finally getting my Christmas weekend vlog uploaded. I say finally, but I didn't upload uh, any Vlogmas on day 25. There was just too much going on. So it is what it is on that, but I am getting it up. Now it's just exporting and then I'm gonna upload it. But exporting videos right now kind of takes my computer down. So I'm going to watch some TV for a little bit. My boyfriend has a meeting. And then at some point we do have to figure out our dinner plan, which probably will involve going to the grocery store. So I'll take you guys through that once we figure that out, if we do, figure that out and it's kind of the plan for this like late afternoon early evening period and I'm wearing a new sweater this is from Eritia it's the tundra sweater it's currently like half off final sale and it's actually really good quality really nice I quite like it I would recommend I got another uh like top situation thing from them i'll try that on for you guys in a little bit but for now we're just chilling but also it's like golden hour right now golden hour um but the sun's gonna set in an hour so unfortunately it's gonna be dark soon so that might be tomorrow's job to try on that for you guys and that's it. So right now, I'm gonna watch TV for a little bit, take a little break, and we'll catch you guys up on what's going on. Why don't we figure it out? Okay, so it's been a day and a bit, but yesterday was my anniversary with the boyfriend. So we just, well, we didn't really do anything, but we did like get some Prosecco and drank that and it was really chill, but like most of all yesterday was just like day at home work grind and then anniversary stuff. So not a ton went on. Um, today is just more work. It actually started out really sunny this morning and now it is just 
disgusting and overcast. I would have filmed earlier, but one, I didn't have my shit together and two, there was a lot of calls and meetings happening. So that wasn't in the cards necessarily. So that's okay. And then I ended up deciding to go and like walk to Starbucks and get that while the weather was still nice. And I think that was worth it, but the lighting's not terrible, but it is a little bit gloomy now. But I have Set Active purchase. This Set Active order did not take three weeks to ship and did not come with a, oh, like we prioritize different people's uh, like orders over uh, yours effectively. This one was shipped super fast and I do appreciate that. And I do understand that like during the holidays and stuff, like obviously companies are so busy. Like I've had kind of a shit show of a time with Lululemon, which I will talk about like later, maybe in this vlog, maybe in the next one, but effectively, it's okay to take time to ship something. What just really irked me was the fact that they were talking about how they don't prioritize their orders by chronological order, by oldest to newest, first in, first out. They prioritize their orders effectively by domestic first and then international second, which is what they told me. And when I did complain, because I did complain about this. I mean, I didn't really complain, complain, but like it was complaining, let's be honest. When I provided the feedback that, hey, like this is what was told to me and that in my opinion, as a consumer and as a business owner is an unacceptable policy. Everybody should be treated equally. I mean, it's like fricking in their constant, in the American constitution, like, you know, but anyways, um, to just kind of create that two tiered system one they should be more transparent about that if that is the case because that definitely informs how people will shop and spend money and i think they would actually potentially suffer a little bit of a sales hit i don't think like a big sales hit because they do have good stuff but i think it would change people's priorities but also just like knowing that somebody domestically for them could get received their order before yours if you're even if your order is placed weeks in front like that is something that i would have loved to have known and it's also very frustrating because for me as a canadian i literally i legitimately depending on the day can see the us i live very close to the us border geographically and we live very close very close trading partners number one trading partner we have free trade agreements all this sort of stuff and I understand maybe not sending out to other countries, like I would, like let's say Singapore, it's a country of like six-ish million people and they might not get a lot of orders. So waiting and sending out like one kind of larger group, okay, I could kind of understand that, but like there are containers, like there are literally DHL routes coming in and out of Canada from the US like multiple times a day. So I just don't understand that logic. Anyways, I have repurchased again. I was very hesitant. However, I had redeemed a free set and I wanted to use it. And I figured I would just like use it and you know, um, fingers crossed, hope for the best. This was back to usual kind of expectations for set active delivery for DHL delivery. And I am pleasantly surprised. However, that experience with them has colored the way I view the company and how I view customer service. I think that is fair to say. I don't necessarily know if it's a company wide issue or if it was just the customer service person that I was talking to and dealing with, but you know, I just, Think that I always like to tell you guys when I have a good experience and when I have a bad experience, even though it's going to potentially, like maybe potentially long-term have negative adverse effects in terms of like getting partnerships with some of these companies that I would like to work with. I think it's better for me to be transparent with you and to provide that like constructive feedback to the corporations 
um, to help them improve, but may, like somebody might not see it that way. So anyways, let's jump into the haul. Long story short, long story long, let's be honest. Okay, so three things were purchased and I did redeem a free set. So I didn't actually monetarily pay for everything. But what happens with Set Active is if you do redeem a full, a free set, you have to put everything into your cart and check out and like redeem the free set and then email them saying that you've redeemed the free set and then the order number for it and then they will refund you. This time they, re they responded within 24 hours. Awesome. The other time I did this, they did take about two days, but this time they responded and the refund was issued automatically. So that was great. That was like a really good customer experience for me. So the order total is $208. That is pinned $20 for shipping because I didn't make the free shipping or sometimes they don't have free shipping and sometimes they have a free shipping threshold. And then I paid $31.91 in tax for a grand total of $297.35 out of pocket. But then the uh, sports bra and the leggings were free. So the sports bra was $62 and then the bottom was $73 and those were free. And then the other thing was $73. So I paid a total of $73 plus $20 of shipping and then whatever applicable tax is online. So not bad, not great. Um, what I purchased was the Lux Worm Cardi in Blanc, okay, white. And then the Lux Form Remake, Remix Racer Vibra in Cookie and Lux Worm Leggings in Cookie. I'm on a brown, beige, tan, and like shades of blue kick right now. I think the way you can describe my wardrobe is like neutrals and some blue tones. So this is cookie. This is in Lux form. I personally prefer Lux form for like lounge slash like low intensity workouts. Um, I haven't tried lifting in Lux form, but I definitely don't feel like Lux form is my like preferred cardio legging. You know, it's kind of like a lines. They just feel like really soft and like they would kill with that friction because of how soft they are. And it's just knowing and managing your expectations for the fabric and what the fabric can do in my opinion when it comes to this sort of stuff. But overall, you know, I have the other pair in Sable and I really like them. Stable, Stable, I didn't really like them. So yeah, this is the bra. It is a halter. We'll kind of see how this goes. I don't know if this is gonna be amazing for working out again, but for lounging slash like walks and stuff like that, I think it should be fine. And I got this specifically in the summer for walks so that the back, it's more in line with like my bathing suit uh, tan lines. And the other thing is one of their new items from like their Black Friday month uh, drops, which is this Lux Form Party. And I was just kind of curious how this would kind of go. This is also in a size small and it's just like a normal cardigan. Really do like it. No, we'll kind of see. But yeah, that is everything. I think this will be good at the gym, like to warm up in or for like skiing, etc., as like a little layering piece. So we'll see. But yeah. All right, that is everything that I got. And I'm gonna go back to work and probably get lunch going soon. Oh, okay. Okay, terrible lighting aside because it is now night time, night time. Um, the last part of you guys, I um, filmed my set active. Anyways, so since then, we just made dinner. That's what I thought. I think that one kind of burps. Okay. Uh, should still be. Anyways, we uh, 
made dinner. Um, my boyfriend made like baked chicken wings and then I just made like garlic bread and some kind of salad because we had like massive, we've been having massive salads like every day for lunch. So I didn't feel like that was super pressing, but like definitely not the most healthy of vibes. But anyways, so I just went and did a quick uh, gelato run, ice cream run, and I'm gonna turn you. I'm just gonna clean off this one. I don't know, it didn't, it didn't hold up super well in the freezer. Just got more honey. Okay, hello. So I'm just gonna clean this one. It should be fine. Yeah, it is fine. I think the Farm Boy freezers, I am so shiny, oh my God. I think the Farm Boy freezers are just like way too cold. And so there's always so much frost and like freezer burn on their ice cream. So I usually don't buy ice cream from there, but I didn't want to walk all the way to Longo's. My boyfriend has gone out this evening he is going for drinks with cam who is in san francisco um when i was there and i was included i think i mean i was told by my boyfriend that i could go um but i have had really bad anxiety all day and because of that i was just like you know what like I don't necessarily feel like this is the best like situation. I don't think it's gonna lead to like the best headspace necessarily. It's not gonna have the best results. So I decided to stay home and that's why you guys are getting my very shiny face. Holy crap, so shiny. Um, that's disgusting that my face looks this shiny. In real life, it's not actually coming across this shiny but like it really is probably because i didn't use any powder on my makeup and uh, okay anyways so because my boyfriend is not here i'm going to take advantage and do a very glorious clean i mean i can always clean when he's here but there's nothing quite like getting to clean the way you want to. And I think just like a little refresh of my space, a refresh of kind of everything around is only going to be a good thing. That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, so I'm going to clean and I don't think I'm gonna film that for this. I'm going to film it for TikTok, I think. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, definitely go follow me. And yeah, so we're gonna do a clean, we're gonna do a refresh. It's mostly gonna be just like vacuuming, vacuuming the floors and that sort of stuff. I have laundry that I need to do that has not been done. So I'm gonna move it back into my closet until tomorrow and actually get this place into some degree of normalcy again, back into some sort of equilibrium. But yeah, okay, that's what, that's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. Okay, so, in 30 minutes, I have vacuumed, mopped, and like thoroughly cleaned the kitchen, um, which like, I don't understand why the cleaning crew that I had in at the beginning of the month took so long to do what they had to do. Um, if I'm being honest with you, the fact that it was billed at three hours for two people when I did the big stuff in about a half hour and I have not cleaned the bathrooms. I mopped down the bathrooms, but that would be another 
20 minutes of work. I just don't understand, guys. I need assistance. Um, I would have been fine with two hours uh, if they had decleaned, but they didn't declean. And yeah, anyways, um, done that if you hear, I've got laundry on in the background. I have my dishes going, so it's gonna be a bit loud in here, so I'm not gonna talk for too, too long. Um, but yeah, now I am probably just gonna watch TV and I'm gonna go back to doing some work. I have on Freeform like a list of things that I want to purchase that I'm gonna add to and I'll show you guys that in a bit, but that's the first bit of my productive night home alone. Okay, so it's pouring rain outside. My hair's also wet, but I've procured groceries for tomorrow night quickly before we go out for dinner. Bye. Okay, I did a terrible job ending the vlog that you guys just watched. But anyways, we just went out for dinner at Constantine and I just put away all of my groceries and stuff. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.